We're here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. And this morning, we made it to Mount Rushmore. Today we're going to explore the memorial, learn about Mount Rushmore, and have some presidential ice cream. Yay, come on, come on let's, let's go. go. There are four presidents carved on the mountain. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. If you look closely at the carving, you'll notice that Theodore Roosevelt's head is pushed way back. The reason for this is there was not any hard granite in front of them and they almost carved straight through the mountain until they hit solid granite. Bergelum chose these for presidents because they played an important role in American history. We're taking the paved loop trail around the monument area. It takes us up closer to the statues so we can really see what they look like. And it also has the sculptor's studio, which is where we're headed next. We can learn a little bit more about the process of sculpting the monument. How do you transfer this model onto Mount Rushmore? So how we did it was he built this model one twelfth the size of Mount Rushmore. So in other words, one inch on here equals twelve inches up at Mount Rushmore. You may all be wondering now, how they kind of measure out these faces, kind of measure this whole model right here? Well, they decided to use a pointing system which is this object you see right here. So how this object works is that they put this disc on top of each of the president's heads, that they can rotate it around different degrees across their face. You can see what on top of Lincoln's head right now. They would put the bar over it and then move the string closer and use this thing hanging down called a plumb bob. Does anybody know what this is? <laughs> yes, it is dynamite. You got it. So what they did was, they took a jackhammer, and we have one sitting right over here. They attach this drill to it, and they drill holes all along the side of Mount Rushmore, wherever they want to blow it off. And once they have the holes drilled, they take the dynamite. 90% of the carving in Mount Rushmore is by dynamite. But once they start getting close to the faces, they didn't really want to use dynamite for fear they might blow off way too much of the face. They use a system called honeycombing. They look kind of like honeycombs, which is where we got the name from. And once they have these holes drilled, they would take a hammer and a chisel, and then a chisel off the side of the rock, and pull off the rock. They started carving Mount Rushmore in 1927, and then it took them 14 years to finish it. It's actually not even finished. They're missing their bodies and Lincoln's left ear. But they ran out of money, so Lincoln's earless. We made it. Woo! Slow, so close. There's actually a secret room on top of Abraham Lincoln's head. It's called the Hall of Records. And inside are some books and papers from the time that it was built. That'd be neat to see, actually. I agree, it would be. So Eleanor, did you know that they sell ice cream based on Thomas Jefferson's original recipe? Seriously, what? Can we get some? Yeah, let's get some. Yay! <laughs> She's excited for ice cream. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. President Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence and the first ice cream recipe in America. And we're going to taste it.
I'm about to take my first lick of ice cream. That was good. <laughs> this is Thomas Jefferson vanilla ice cream. Uh, Mm. That's really good. It's sweeter than normal vanilla ice cream I feel like. 